Hey everyone, it's uh, Ionology here, and um, today I'm going to show you how to use Twixter Pro on Adobe After Effects. So this is what we're going to be working on. It's going to look like this. Okay, well you get the idea. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is gonna you're gonna open uh, you're gonna open After Effects. Then you're gonna composition, do composition. Now these are my custom settings. If you want to, you can pause them and make make them custom. So I'm gonna click OK, and then you're gonna wanna click File, Import, Import File. Okay, now you're gonna wanna look for your file, so whatever clip you have. Go down. And I'm pretty sure it's this one. Now I gotta wait for it to load. <coughs> okay, so when it loads, you're gonna wanna Click this and drag it down to the bottom. You want to drag it down here. Okay. Now, if you have to, you're probably gonna want. You're probably gonna have to crop it anyway. So, probably, so you can have the entire screen showing. <coughs> so move this up Just a little bit. Okay, that looks good enough. Okay, so you're gonna click this right here, the frame blending, <coughs> and then to activate the frame blending, you have to go to layer, and go to frame blending, and then go to pixel motion. Okay, um, after that, this is where you import your Twixter, so you're gonna wanna go to effect, and to get Twixter, you can look at, uh, uh, for a video on YouTube about it. You, you don't automatically just have it when you first download After Effects. So here you're gonna go to Effects and go to Twixter. So when you click when you click Twixter, you're gonna want <coughs> make sure you remember your frame rate that you started off with. Like in the beginning when you new comp when you click new composition, mine was 59.5. 94 so you're gonna do that so after you fix that you're gonna want to go to click the bottom arrow right here go to effect go to twister pro and then go to output control okay so this is where you're gonna want to find this we're gonna apply apply your twister so you're gonna look for the part look for the part where the Twixter was added. Hold on. Where oh, you want your Twixter added? Uh, I'm gonna add my Twixter where I reload. So, uh, I'll look for that real quick. Computer's being slow. Let's change it to half. Okay. Uh, look back a little bit. Okay, this is where I reloaded the first time. So, okay, so here I'm about to take the clip out. So I'm, I'm going to add tricks there to the part where I'm taking the clip out. So first thing you're going to want to do, you're going to click this little. Uh, timer thing right here okay so you're gonna want to add a point uh, I'm gonna add a point by clicking oh my god you're gonna add a point and you're gonna go over about a frame or two 
then we're going to put another point. This is where you add your clicker officially. Then I'm just gonna put on three. Okay, this is, and it's gonna make it pretty slow. So, but it, the slower it is, the nicer it looks. <coughs> okay, so we're just gonna keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. So when he puts, okay. See how your your clip ends up being smaller than it was before. So you're gonna want to go to layer. Uh, where's it at? Where's it at? Time and then enable time remapping, and then that's where you can you can drag it as far as you want or as much as you need. <clears throat> so you're going to you're gonna keep going, keep going, keep going. So my hand goes away. So this is where my hand goes away. And then you're gonna want to add another point. Then you're gonna go over about one frame, or uh, yeah, one frame. Then add another point. And that's where you're gonna put your cluster back to a hundred percent. So go to so go pretty fast. Okay, so. That's where you put the clip in, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna add I'm gonna add one more slow slow motion part, and that's when he pulls the cock back. Okay, hold up. Okay, hold on. Need to get the specific part. Okay, so I'm going to add Twixter to this. So you're going to add, want to add another point, and then you're going to want to add, go over about a frame, and that's where you want to put your Twixter. And put it on back on three percent, and then when it's sliding down, okay, and then I'm going to take the Twixter off when he releases it. So hold on. This is where he starts to let go. So I'm gonna add another point, and then go over a frame as usual, then click to point and go back to 100. Okay. So after you've done that, if you okay, make sure your clip is as it's pretty short. Well, not short, but make sure that when you're done, you drag. You drag uh, the little blue bar to where you want it to end. Okay, so once you've done this, you're gonna want to go to. You want to click your clip. You're gonna want to go to composition, then go add to render queue. Gotta wait a little bit. Okay. Now, this is where you name it what you want. So I'm gonna I'm gonna name it. Well, I don't have to name anything because I've already rendered it, but when you I'm gonna show you my render setting now this is this is my custom render setting you're gonna want to make sure that your frame rate is custom or whatever your frame rate you started off with and mine was 59.4 so you're gonna press every just make sure if you want to copy all of this and go to OK now see how it changed custom so then you're gonna want to click render so since I've already rendered it I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's done okay should look like this. Should look like this. Now you see the twix there, how it applies to it now. And then it's gonna drag off, drag off, drag off, and then you'll see. I'm about to put the clip back in when it goes back to fast, when it goes to fast, normal speed.
Okay, see how I, it went back to normal speed and it went back to Twix there when he was pulling his uh, trigger, whatever the hell that thing's called, back. Okay, so when you're done with that, that's pretty much all you have to do. Now, to add color correction, honestly, I just, I don't really know how to add color correction to the After Effects, so I just go to Sony Vegas and add it from there. So, if you, okay, hold on. Your video should look like the way I just showed you. So after you've done that, this if you want to add color correction or add anything else special, just go to Sunny Vegas. You you have to download Sunny Vegas, but it's pretty simple to add color correction to it. But um, if you like this video, please sub. And this is my first tutorial, so yeah, I tried. So, but if you liked it and it helped you in any way, please sub. It means a lot. And, uh, thanks.